So when looking at a scapula, you might get asked, what are these structures on the scapula? Now if we think about it in relation to the arm, they're actually easier to pick out than it might seem. So the scapular spine, which we saw on the arm here, that's what we're looking at here, the scapular spine. The muscle above the spine was called the supraspinatus. As it turns, the, the uh, section above the spine is called the supraspinatus fossa. So that happens to be the origin for the supraspinatus muscle. Below the spine, we've got the infraspinatus fossa coming from, uh, which is the origin for the infraspinatus. And underneath the scapula, we've got the subscapularis fossa, which is the origin for the subscapularis muscle. Now, you might also get asked what type of actions these uh, rotator cuff muscles help to perform. Well, if we think about it in, uh, in the orientation of the arm, the muscles here on the back of the arm, we know a muscle can only shorten. If the muscles here shorten, so the infraspinatus gets shorter, the arm would laterally rotate. Same with the teres minor. If the teres minor were to shorten, the arm would laterally rotate. If the supraspinatus was to shorten, the arm would abduct. And the subscapularis, which connects to the front of the humerus, if that was to shorten, we would see the arm medially rotate.